Such a pleasure to be able to meet uh, Shell and Courtney today because as soon as I saw her in a community and she was saying that, you know, Amazon and e-commerce has completely changed her life, I'm like, I need to know this story. So, Shell, can you please tell me what life for you was about before e-commerce came into your world? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Well, I was not inspired at my job. Um, I had like an office job and I just, I was just not inspired. I felt stuck and there was nothing wrong with the workplace. I had a great boss. It's just that the work required no imagination and there was nothing more to learn. Every day was the same. There were no challenges left. So I started thinking it has to be more to life than this. So <laughs> luckily for me, I, um, I was always curious and, and, and looking and seeking. And I subscribed to a number of like personal blogs on self-improvement, money management. And one day um, I got a notice in my mailbox for um, like, 10 companies you can start off this year with little money. So I said, okay, maybe something will come out of this. So when I clicked on it, it was one of the offerings was an e-commerce course. And way back years before, I had sold some items on Amazon, just stuff laying around the house. But I did not know that there were actually people like making a career, a business out of it. So I was really intrigued and um, it was late at night, the cart was closing and I just said, yes, I'm going to try this. So it was a great course. It was an introduction to selling on Amazon. And a few months later, I was introduced to TWF through that course. And by then I had make, made back the money on what I spent on that course. So I had a little bit of confidence. So I said, you know what? I was really afraid before. I was apprehensive about that one. This one sounds even better. Like I can really scale and um, make more out of it because what I was doing, I don't know if you're aware with um, different models for selling on Amazon, but there's RA, which is retail arbitrage. For the most part, that's what I was doing. And then there's private label that you you're familiar with and then there is um online where you shop online but I was doing RA after work so and I would find great items and I would always think if only I could find a hundred more of these <laughs> then I'll be really in the money because um one is great but I'm thinking wow if I can get a hundred I'll, I'll really be killing it so when was this first course okay, when so did this was um fourth quarter 2016 Mm -hmm. and um, it was October so luckily I met the deadline to start selling because Amazon they, they have so many quirky rules so if you don't register by a certain day you're not eligible to sell in this you know start selling for fourth quarter because fourth quarter is like the, the Christmas thing. <laughs> yes <laughs> literally so I, I, I eat on by and I started just selling random things around the house again. Then I started going into the stores. So I would say fourth quarter 2016, that's when it was. Yeah. Okay. What have you seen in these last couple of years um, that became distinctively different in 2020? So what happened for you in 2020? Well, after leaving my job in September, 2019 I had a little bit of wanderlust and I traveled for like two months and I said you know January 2020 is going to be my year I'm really going to start crushing it again on Amazon because you know there are highs and lows and even though I did start in, in January 2017 that's when I became a TWF alumnus um to be honest, because I was working, I could only do it in the afternoon, some after, some after work hours or weekends. So even though it was about, by then, it was about two years, I was um, doing the wholesale model, I wasn't devoting much time to it. But I was, still, I was still successful, but I just, it was like two years, maybe I did it in actuality for like one year. 
So, okay, but it, there was a really nice side income for those two years. Oh, yes, you, it yeah. was. It was a market difference in my income. That's why I was, in, I was able to travel more. I would not have been able to do that without TWF. So, um, and I'm not, no one told me to say that. I'm just sharing with you now, you know, without that, I was not able to do it. So, um, so yes, your question, it was, I, um, the, the biggest difference you've seen with, um, 2020, I guess, I guess it, it really came down to lockdown. Has that, like you said, yeah. you prefer to shop online rather than being yeah. in malls, et cetera. Well, I guess more of the world is realizing. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. Well, I did see a spike in sales. And for 2020, for my business personally, I I have been gravitating towards working with brands exclusively. I've been pursuing like exclusive deals. So the wholesale model is you get as many accounts as you would like, but for 2020, I wanted to become more, um, I wanted to, to size down and be more profitable by reaching out to select brands that I can grow with rather than having like 50 disparate accounts. I rather have three accounts where I can get exclusive. I can work with them exclusively or manage their brands alone or help them manage their brands. That's what I've been changing the model of my business. So for me, I'm laying the foundation still I'm learning to pitch more and more to brands and I'm pitching for like exclusivity, like exclusive contracts, not just accounts. So it's harder, but I think I would um, be more successful that way because I like getting my, I like getting my hands into, uh, into like, how do I put it? I like working on the business, learning about my product, getting familiar with my product and like cultivating it rather than, okay, there are sellers who have, a, who have accounts, they don't even know what they're selling. You know, there are so many different ways to do this business that there are some sellers, they have about 500 products, listings on Amazon, and they don't really know half of them. They have VAs working on it, you know, and that's fine, but I, I like having a more um, personalized relationship with my brands. And do you prefer brands that are sort of, I guess, mum and pop outfits or sort of smaller businesses? Oh, yes. yes. In fact, um, TWF encourages us to, to go after brands that are smaller because there's a saying that there's riches in the niches. So it's like niche products that you haven't heard of before, brands that are small just starting out because Think of it this way. Is it better to like reach out to the president of Nike? I mean, what are your chance of being able to do that? <laughs> okay. So it's better to go after a smaller retailer where you can have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the president and they get to trust you and then you get to grow with them. Because chances are, if you're going after Lego and Nike, you're going to be one of millions, if, if that, if you can even get on train to that. But um, definitely going to going to routes of the smaller brand is much better. That's what's recommended. So do you believe that um, there's there's more opportunities because there literally are just so many brands yes. that help? Yes, yes definitely. There's all, I, I was shocked to learn last year that there are over 70 million products on Amazon. So it's not going anywhere there are more opportunities. What I would say to anyone who's like, you know, debating whether to come on board, I would say do it as soon as possible because it goes back to that old saying, the best time to plant a tree 20 years ago, second best time is today. So it's better you to do it now than wait. Yeah. Absolutely. So with your business, do you have... Um... I guess, a long-term goal? Do you have an exit strategy or are you just wanting to continually grow your business? I would like to continuously grow. I mean, I've replaced my income. Now I want to scale. Now I want to try the new business model of exclusivity and getting like brand management accounts. I mean, there's so many different facets to this business that you can take advantage of. And um, I would like to one day build a business with like, 
employees have a workplace if I need to, that, you know, a workplace that I've always dreamed of working and being part of and um, where everyone's contribution is valued, then I hope to one day enter into philanthropy. Like um, I, I volunteer with children in foster care and I would love to work on issues like early childhood mental health and um, education. So I would like this to be like a springboard that I can get access to capital to do like my philanthropic work. So that's long-term, that's what I would like. Oh, that's awesome. But even at, right at this point in time, like before growing to like those yeah. sort of exponential levels and like yeah. you say, having a, a workplace and stuff, right now, you can be completely location independent with this business, can't you? Oh, yes, definitely. In fact, um, last year I had a plan to go to India. I was going to go to India last year, but I was canceled. And I do love traveling. And that's one of the ways I wouldn't mind exploring, you know, because with this business, you can have a prep center to do the work. You can have VAs. You don't have to be stuck to one place. That's what's beautiful about it. How many hours a week are you actually putting into your business? For me, I do at least five hours a day. And it varies because I try to like have my days in blocks. Like right now, I'm a solopreneur. I tried enlisting family members last year to come on board, but you know, they had other commitments and they're open to it in the future. And I also had VAs in the past that did not work out. That was when I was working. I wasn't, it wasn't, had nothing to do with them. It's just that I couldn't manage them while working and commuting. So um, right now I'm doing it all by myself. And that's fine because like I said, I'm not interested in like 500 SKUs or products. I want to nurture my relationship with brands. So I have enough right now to get by and to keep me busy. So I would say five hours a day at least, but it's totally my choice because if I, if I would like to, I can always hire more VAs to help me. But the way we're living right now, it's pretty optimal for home businesses because pretty much you're at home. So I do have time to work as I would like. So I would say for me, it's five hours a day at least. Take a break. And sometimes in the evenings, I get orders because I, always, I also ship orders myself. I do that in the evenings. So it's flexible. It depends on the individual. Really but at the end, of the end of the day, it's sounding as if it's um, a part-time hours type of thing to, re to receive a full-time income. So like you've, yeah. left, you've left a job that was yes. full-time hours, full-time income, but now you're cutting your hours back, but you've exactly. completely replaced that income. Exactly, because this business model, that's what it affords you to do. And right now I'm not harried going out in stores doing retail arbitrage anymore. What I do is I have my contacts, I have my prospects. I call them during the day. I replenish my inventory all on my laptop. And if you get super organized and you know what you're doing, you can do that. And for instance, over the holidays, I was not working five hours. I was working more hours because I was actually doing a lot of shipping myself. I did not hire, go to a warehouse or a third party warehouse. I did not do any of that because I had the time to do it. I was doing everything myself. So of course it was more than five hours, but it, it just depends on what your, um, what the business means right now. For me, I'm nurturing smaller brands and um, that's what I'm working on. I'm more working on my strategy right now. I'm learning to pitch. I'm learning to make calls to the right people, <laughs> all of that. So for now it's five hours, but a month from now, I hope it's more. I'm doing more pitching. I'm finding more prospects. So it could be more, but my point is for anyone who, is interested in this retail, in this e-commerce space, you just make your own schedule as you see fit. And that's the beauty of it.